Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So this is part two of the Kayosho Optima Mid restoration. Um, if you've not checked out part one where we got the chassis restored and fitted all the elect electrics, um, please check that out. Uh, but part two is about the cosmetic side of it. So we were, we were going to work on the shell, the wing, we're going to paint the tyres and we're also going to paint this Kayosho logo on the front of the bumper which always looks cool on a mid. Um, Right off the bat, I ordered, when I got this buggy, I ordered some reproduction decals from MCI because these decals have had it, to be honest. Um, and I also thought at the time that I would need to lift the decals because the, the, the body's quite yellow, even where the decal, decals are not, it's still quite yellow. Um, but on closer inspection, I can see it's been painted with not the correct pen. It's not a PS pen, um, possibly a TS pen. And the obvious way you can tell, and if I just if I move the if I just bend it slightly, the paint inside cracks. Um, so it's kind of I have to do something about it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, use a tam Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner, and I'm gonna paint it on and leave this overnight. I'm gonna really soak it in and see what I find in the morning, um, which is really unfortunate because it's a lot more work than I wanted to do. Um, but the shell and wing are in great nick and obviously they're original. The reproduction decals I've got with the gloss finish, the, the, they're really vibrant and it'll, it'll look alive. So I spent a lot of time doing the car so I've got to do this right. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll use, as I said, Tammy Polycarbonate Cleaner. I'll brush it on and I'll keep adding coats of it and I won't try to take the paint off. I'm just going to let it soak in and um, see what I come to in the morning. So let's get cracking. So this is the Tam Tamiya Polycarbonate Cleaner, if you've never seen it. Um, it's a multi-purpose thing. Um, it's quite difficult to get a hold of um, in Europe. Um, there's, there's only a couple of suppliers. It's, it's always on eBay for like $10, um, but it takes like a lifetime to get here. But it's well worth having because it'll, it'll clean your outside of your polycarbonate up. It'll clean your decals up as long as you don't scrub too hard. But if you've got any overspill of paint or any creepage, it just you just keep rubbing with this stuff and it takes the paint straight off. But to do a full shell is a bit of a mission. So what we're gonna do um, is try this. So I've got a brush and we're just going to pile it on. As I say, I'm not even gonna try remove it. I just wanna see. So what I did find out was like soaking it for a long period of time um, does nothing. It just it hardens again. Um, so it was a bit of a waste. Um, but what you need to do is apply this stuff for a, about a minute or two, quite heavily, um, and then scrub it. I've been using like one of these washing up things, uh, which seems to work okay. Um, what you do get, obviously, it just moves the paint around initially. So you've got to sort of get break it all out and then um, what I've done is I've just washed it in hot soapy water um, ready for some more so but obviously the next job on this one will be to actually get the paint off and get the clear shell underneath it's a lot of work this guys um, I've just sort of um, applied another coat to the spoiler because I've not touched that yet um, but as you can see it you know it, it does work um, so as I say we need to clean this up now so let's see how we go so I'll just give it a good sort of clean up. Still a little bit more to do, but you get the picture now. Um, you've got to be careful as well, because a lot of the residue goes on the outside. So that comes off really easily with the cleaner. Um, but just the sort of bits to get into it. As you can see, the majority of the paint's off. Um, and obviously the paint goes into the crack, so don't worry too much how it looks. Because when it's painted, it should look pretty, pretty great. Right, that's the shell sprayed up. Um, Tamiya PS1, and guess what? It's terrible. Um, so I've given up. Um, I can't bring this shell back to life. The problem it has is it's got this yellowy, yellowing colour, and unfortunately, I don't think it's coming across on camera correct. Um, but it's it's more yellow than it is white. Um, and when I'd got the paint off of it, you couldn't actually tell it looked pretty clear. 
So I'm a little bit gutted about that. And that's what the whole problem was in the beginning. Um, so I've just given up on the spoiler. I didn't even bother stripping the rest of the paint off. Um, so I've ordered a new reproduction shell and wing from um, Team Blue Grove from eBay. Um, so the frustra frustrating part for me is if I'd have sort of listened to my gut feeling, then I would have had this original shell and wing looking okay with the original decals on, but instead I've left with this. So I've messed up there. Um, but nevertheless, what can you do? So as I say, I've ordered one today, but um, next up what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna um, use the Sharpie fine, ultra fine white marker, uh, well paint pen, to do the, um, the Bridgestone markings on the tires. I might just try to tidy that up with a, a craft knife. And I'm also just gonna clean the front bumper up and do the Kyosho in white as well, which generally looks pretty cool, um, as long as my hands aren't shaking. Um, so let's get cracking with that. Awesome on this particular car, um, and the front bumper I think it always looks pretty cool. So, unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to wait a week and a half for the body to come, and you're gonna have to wait about two seconds, All right, guys? New shell and wings here, um, excellent service again from Team Blue Grove. The service is absolutely fantastic. I from ordering this shell and wing with another one as well, um, it arrived four days after, which is just amazing. Um, so it's time to get the scissors out and um, start trimming this shell and wing. Now I'm not going to do this on camera because there's some tr very tricky bits on this shell where you've got to cut around the spur gear cover case and things like that. And I don't, when I'm on camera doing it I always feel a bit under pressure so let's just blank that bit out and um, I'll cut it off camera. So um, let's get cracking. Right that's it cut out. That was an absolute pig to do. Um, I know the reproduction shell of the Optima Mid is way different in sizes um, and the, there's just some cut lines that are just not there. On the main body itself it's not too much of an issue but when you get to these bits and the spoiler, the sides of a spoiler has no cut lines. So I've copied this one best I can um, but it's it's not ideal. The, the actual rear spoiler is pretty naff compared to the original one. Um, but anyway, it fits. I've got to trim this bit up here where you've got to cut out for the gear casing and I've had to trim it way back on here where you don't have to with the original, which is a bit of a shame. But um, it looks pretty good and obviously once it's got paint on it, it's going to look way better. Um, so I'm, I'll mask the windows up now and we will get it painted. Right, that's the body shell and wing painted. Um, obviously I masked it first, which I'm just leaving the mask on until the paint goes a little bit harder. Um, but I've just taken the protective film off um, just to give you a rough idea on the difference from the old and new body when I was talking about how yellow it was can you see the difference I mean the yellowy is not coming across on video from what I can tell from this screen but you can see the difference in, in shells if I just put those two together it's like chalk and cheese so I, I, I made the right decision um, it cost a little bit extra cash, but it was worth it. So I'll uh, I'll whiz the masking off, and then we'll get cracking. I've just started to cut out a few decals, um, and the GPS speed meter has just turned up as well at last. So anyway, um, let's get cracking with the wing decals. The wing done. I don't know whether it's because it's against brilliant white pen, but these um, high gloss finish reproduction decals are absolute class. The um, the, the, these are some of the best de reproduction decals I've ever used. They're absolutely cock on. So anyway, we've got, um, that's the wing done. It's When you go in box art with the mid, it's really complicated because if you go back to all the old pictures of it, all the decals, certain positions change. Not obviously the big coloured ones, but some of the little sponsorship details change. So I'm trying to go off the, um, the original box art, Kayosho box itself. But um, it has a little powered by Le Mans that gets cut and goes here. 
Um, so I'm not going to bother with that yet. I'm going to now concentrate on the main shell and um, we'll do the difficult ones because these ones that uh, wrap around the body um, are not very easy because the body's not the correct size. So I do know that it's got a black line around it and I do know that some of the guys have had to, they keep this edge straight which is where the window is. So that keeps it sort of level and then if you, they, they cut it to keep it straight on the bottom of the body. So it's going to be a little bit of a mission this. So we'll take us time and we'll see um, how it looks. But uh, so far so good. That's the tricky decals on. Um, they don't fit. As standard I've always known that and I know you have to make a few bodges and you've kind of got to make a call on how you cut these if you want to keep that black line or not I did so I've chosen to go at a slight angle on the sides um, which again many do it's not really an issue um, you've got some big sort of bold block uh, decals to go across the side um, but what it, what it does do it, it allows me to get this bit right which is coming off at, at, at the red and black changeover. So I come off at the same angle either side and it allows me to keep the same distance either side. Um, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, the back is a bit of a bodge, unfortunately. Um, you have to cut, but I've got it nice and tight and there's no bubbles or anything. Um, again, it's, it's a bit you don't really see. Um, but if you ever want to check out a, an original Optima Mid picture, you'll see it is it's pretty much completely different how this sticker go decal goes on. But as I say, I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. That's gone on really well. So let's uh, crack on and get the little ones on now. So all the decals on. And what a pleasure that was to do. Very difficult, but I don't know. I got a lot out of that. There's a, there's a lot of decals that goes on that car. <clears throat> Obviously, I've not done the windows black, and I'm not sure if I'm going to, although that is box art. Um, but I just think that looks absolutely stunning. I'm really chuffed with that. A couple of differences I've made. There's a Kayosho decal that's missing, which is that one. It's supposed to be two of those, um, and that's supposed to go there. Um, but because you can only get one of the NGKs on because the other side's cut out, I wanted to keep it red, so I've gone with that one. Um, and then I've kept it kind of box art. Um, the only other thing I've done from different from the car is on the wing where I fitted the Optima Mid at either side of the wing because it's so blank on the original and it's got this tiny powered by Le Mans on it um, and it just looks like an afterthought whereas I just think that looks pretty cool. Um, right, let's stick it on the car and see how she looks. Right, that looks absolutely amazing. I am so chuffed with that. But straight off the bat, I have to do the windows. Um, I just don't think, obviously you can see all the running gear through the window, but I just don't think the car actually suits clear windows. So um, let's get those blackened. And she's done. And I am, um, I know I keep saying it so I apologise, but I'm absolutely just blown away by it. It's come up an absolute treat. And there's decals I've put in the different places. I think they work really well, especially that wing. That looks awesome. So I'm well chuffed with that. I have to do a black again on the canopy. Um, it's a little bit bitter. But I'm just going to leave it overnight now. Give it 12, 14 hours just to everything to settle down. And uh, I'll do whatever fixes needs doing in the morning. But absolutely well chuffed with that. So guys, I'll end this video here. It's a peach, isn't it? I just love it. I really do. So glad I got a reproduction shell now. And I didn't put up with that, the yellowing. Because it would have just spoiled it. Yeah, it's reproduction, it's not original, but I don't really care. Um, to have a car in this condition looking this good, I'm well chuffed with it. Um, so I need to get it running next, which I'm super chuffed about. I'll give it a quick blast if you watch some other videos. Um, but to get it running in its colours and that, uh, get it on some dirt with the proper Bridgestone tyres on and things like that, it's going to look amazing. So um, I'll end the video here. So once again, thanks for watching. And uh, if you are new to this channel, if you can please consider liking and subscribing to support us. Um, but most of all, as always guys, happy assy.